Hi, I'm E.D. Lewis, and welcome back to my channel, E.D. Lewis Reviews. And I haven't done this in a year and a half, maybe more, uh, maybe a little less, I don't know, but, you know, we're gonna go with a year and a half. Uh, an original tag! So the last one I did was the season of The Witch, I think it was around Halloween season, not the last one, but the previous year. And, uh, yeah, here we are again, so, um... We're going to see how this one goes. So this, uh, I wasn't sure when to do it, so I actually talked with uh, a fellow booktuber, and she gave the opinion that maybe I should do it sooner than later, so it gives, chance, uh, it gives people a chance to do it if they wish to do it. So this is the uh, Valloween book tag. Uh, I decided to go, just go simple with it, so um, here we are. So here we go. Um, I have five prompts here, and then there's the tag me section, which I guess is number six, so. But anyway, here we go. Uh, number one, crush. Have you ever had a crush on a fictional character? If yes, which character was it? Um, I, I'm not going to really give answers, but I'm going to give, like, examples. Now, some of these might be answers like this one. So, I would probably say, if I were doing this tag, Lestat from, uh, The Vampire Chronicles. Number two, love can be sweet, love can be naughty. Name an erotic novel, horror or otherwise. Uh, quick note, though. So, the thing is with this tag... It may be the Valloween tag and focused around the darker side of romance, but with many of these, you don't have to necessarily do uh, romantic love. It could be friend love, family love, any kind of love, but there are some moments like this one. So, um, you know, name an erotic novel. Well, uh, if I were going to say horror, I haven't read much erotic horror, but I have read Dracula in the Flesh. That's uh, an example, and, uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I haven't read this one. Uh, I will admit, I did start reading it. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, so there's erotic love right there. Um, I did start it. I never did finish it. Didn't get very far, to be honest. Not that I didn't want to, but it, it just, it was one of those that I ended up putting down, and then I didn't pick back up. So it was not, it's not necessarily a permanent DNF, so I don't count it, so... All right, don't count as a DNF, I mean. All right, uh, number three, Tainted Love. Name a book featuring a twisted, toxic, or traumatic relationship. Uh, huh. Twisted, toxic, or traumatic would be a good example of this. Uh, okay, here we go. And... Flowers in the Attic. Uh, if you've read the book, then you know. Um, there's some, there's some, tr there's some traumatic stuff going on there, and I think a little toxic, uh, toxicity. I can't talk. Uh, and it's a little twisted, so I think it fits all those really. But you don't have to use all three. Number four, dark side. Sometimes the one you love is a monster, and sometimes it's you. Name a book featuring a monster. Human or non. Now, of course, this one you could run with all over the place. Uh, I don't really have an example for this one. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what others would come up with. Uh, yeah, I don't have one. A monster, human, no, or a uh, uh, human or otherwise. Well, I mean, this one didn't even have doesn't even have to be uh, romantic at all. But um, oh. Uh, so it could be any kind of monster. I don't have an answer for this one. Um, and number five, if you don't count the tagging, Twisted Heart. Name a great betrayal. Now, of course, this could fit into many categories. Um, like, uh, now this isn't necessarily naming a book, but you can name like any time where characters were betrayed in some big way. And I, the ones I'm thinking of, if I were to give examples of that, it would be spoilers to anybody who did not read them. 
Well, I guess I could name the book. I guess I could name the book, and if you have read the book, you know. So, Club Dead by uh, Charlene Harris. Or, um, Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. Those have some betrayals in them. And uh, if you've read them, you know what they are. Uh, Mexican Gothic by uh, Silvia Moreno Garcia. Um, I can't think of any others, so that's what I've got. Uh, those are three examples, but you know, I'm sure you could come up with. But uh, anyway, name a great betrayal. So um, those are some books that have betrayals in them. If you'd like to, if you would like to just do the book, just say the book. That's fine. If you'd like to just talk about the betrayal and say what book it's from, that'd be uh, great too. So. And number six, tagging. Okay, so let me explain something about the tagging here. Um, some people, um, I decided, some of, some of the lists I had kind of some ideas of who I wanted to tag when I had conceived this back in December, um, and some people I added later because I hadn't any ideas. I just had some, like a couple picked out. And um, I, I'll explain those as I go. So number one, bad is rad two is tagged. Pax Panic, um, our dear friend Pax, I know she's not doing videos right now, and I'm sure everybody is fully aware of the situation and what she's going through right now, but I did not want to disinclude her. So um, Pax Panic is included in this uh, tag. Elizabeth Sagewood, Regina's Haunted Library, David's Book Reviews, uh, Bookibus, Mindy's uh, Book Journey, Nemeria, and John at Books of Blood, who I know is no longer doing videos, but I had planned on including him in it, so he's not uh, unincluded. Uh, no. So he is not left out either. I don't know what word I was trying to say there. So Anyway, that is the uh, Halloween book tag, and I hope everybody will have a spooky February when February comes around. I know it's still some days away. By the time this video goes up, it'll probably be about a week, week and a half, something like that away, but uh, this gives plenty of time. So I've got some videos planned for the month of February, all uh, mostly Halloween themed, and uh, I will see you in my next video. So stay, stay, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.